G'day guys, uh, Vaughn here. So in today's tutorial, we're just going to show you a quick couple of jigs to join different angles uh, greater than a 45 degree miter joint. Uh, so all you need is a couple of bits of scrap, as you can see there. And all the, the concept of this jig is you need parallel force um, to compress the joint. So just trace around your actual uh, joint that you are going to be assembling on a couple of bits of scrap and then on the outside and the inside of that. So basically we are making a sandwich with bits of scrap. So there's two types of jigs I'm going to show you. There's this first one which is a little bit more complicated. It requires two points to anchor. Uh, whereas the, the second jig I'm going to show you later is actually just one point uh, and it can adjust a lot easier. I recommend just using the drop saw. It's going to be the easiest thing to cut a straight line on uh, over a band saw or a scroll saw or something like that. Uh, it'll create a, a nice form. You got a wedge and you can see the corner of the joint, the top of that leg is actually not getting crushed. That's why there's a bit of a gap. I always attach my uh, jigs to a baseboard just screwed on, no glue, just in case I want to uh, change them. And one thing is, clamp it down, make sure it doesn't move on you, screw it in, and then unclamp it. It's the easiest way to get it nice, nice and accurate. As you can see, we've got screws on both sides of that bit of scrap. We've got a wedge, and then we're going to glue it. This joint is just a domino. So you could use uh, dowel joints or pocket joints or anything like that. I'm going to uh, be using reinforced splines on this as well because it's going to carry a lot of weight. So making sure your timber doesn't actually stick to your jig. Put a big cling wrap in there. PVA glue doesn't stick to uh, cling wrap so that'll uh, protect your timber from uh, getting damaged. And then make sure you scrape out any squeeze out prior anyway just to help with clean up. As you can see, parallel force going across. So this is the second jig. You can see the difference is that piece just there on the right has only got one screw so it can twist, meaning it can accommodate for the join and get a nice flush uh, actual seal just there. And you need a lot less scrap with this one. So you can see I've already hooked in those other two pieces and then I put the reinforced back on and show you the concept. Parallel force, those two edges are So as you can see, it just twists, meaning it accommodate for the different angle, uh, as long as you've just got a firm uh, bit of pressure on it from the F-clamp. Again, trace on that inside edge, go cut it on the drop saw, bring it back in, and it's ready to clamp. Again, cling wrap, best thing, PVA sticking to your material, and then it's the same leg, but just out of the end, so uh, nice and easy. So with your pressure on your clamp, you don't need a crazy amount. It's just lightly holding it. The glue does the work and there you go. So there's the, the second version. I've just fastened it further and then there's the first. As you can see, the first one uses way more timber and it's really not necessary. So I usually use the second. Thanks for watching guys. Like, subscribe and comment. See you in the next one.